Hey, my name is Seth Putnam. I'm one of the worship pastors here at New Life Church. Today, I'm checking out the Sunday Keys app. I do like the practicality of just having an iPad and um, being able to position it pretty much any place that you want. You're not, you're no longer like needing like a, you know, just a table or something. You can literally have a stand like this and put it anywhere that you want. And so lightweight, you can just bring it with you in your bag. You don't have to carry exorbitant amounts of equipment. That's pretty cool. I like this feature right here, a ping pong mode. So if I turn it off, I think that's off, right? And then this would be, cool, very cool. Hmm, let's do dotted eight though. And then replace effect. Oh, okay, so if I wanted to replace that effect with something else, we've got room up here for three effects and I can interchange some of these effects, correct? Yeah. Bring it some brass. Nice. So for me, like, I know when I'm in between transition moments, I love to, um, I love to probably start with pad and maybe a little bit light piano maybe eventually add more piano in there. So for me, um, handling transition moments or when a speaker is speaking, just being really sensitive volume wise, but maybe bringing in um, more shimmer if possible. I'm a big fan of shimmer on some of these moments. Maybe bring the piano up when it feels right. if I bring some of these down. Maybe bring a little, yeah, high pass filter there. I just want to try this. I'm going to add a sound here and I'm just going to go for it. Uh, can I do Sunday Keys Beta? Let's do that. All right. I think I want to add, hmm, let's go with the lead. Let's just see what that would sound like. Felt heart. Here we go. All right. I'm gonna lower these down a little bit. Pretty cool. Let me, um, let me take tremolo offset. Huh, that's 
that a little bit more. No, I like that already. It's just... Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like standard protocol. Swipe right, it goes to the right. Swipe left, it goes left. Yeah, that makes sense. Very cool. Oh, I'll get out of that. I'm gonna see this. Changes to effects. Cool, so I could even do, yeah, like an octa. Let's try that, let's just see. Okay, yeah, and I can put it in ever so slightly. I think I'm gonna balance it this first time. want to take an effect off I just hit the the power button there there makes a lot of sense pretty intuitive let's create a new patch here so I'm just gonna hit that button create a new patch enter a patch name ooh man key of D David boom all right this will be fun yeah, Sunday Keys Beta. Let's do, man, let's try something different here. Let's try, I'm going to try an EP kind of feel. Yeah, Noisy Roads Gritty. And let's add the sound. Very cool. But I even want to kind of edit some of that stuff too. Let's put some pure verb on. Okay, I'm gonna take the chorus off. Cool. All right, I think I'm gonna do that. Let's add another sound. Let's do, um, I think I wanna do some pad stuff here. So let's bring in this one. Yeah, let's lower this down. All right, let's keep that on. Let's add something else. I want to do a string ensemble swell. And let's see what that sounds like. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. It's pretty hot. And I think I might even let's mess around with how we want that. It... I definitely like that function. This, this is super easy. Easier than on main stage for sure. Love the separation there too. It's not so heavy and low. That's pretty cool. I like how like even when you need to edit what's going on, it'll still keep your sound so you're not cutting off. That's actually really key, I, I feel like, because you, you never know when you're gonna need to switch things. You need to put more highs, you need to put more lows. So for me, it's really important to make edits on the spot while I'm keeping a sustained sound. That's, uh, that's important for me. So if I was in, even in a traditional just worship moment, I'm gonna add a sound. Hmm. I wanna add a piano on top.
Let's do a tonic. Those are actually really fun to play around with. So I would assume that I just, nope, I turned it on. I'm gonna turn all the pads down. Love it, let's add some more verb. Too much. <laughs> Cool, you can, you can change, uh, oh, all right, that's cool. Let's go with the large room too. Very cool. So we're not just dealing with choir now. That's cool. Let's try, um, ooh, let's try evolving. Let's see what that sounds like. Nice. And we can also pan it. Pretty cool. Yeah, I always like putting a tonic pad. Um, a lot of times when I'm playing, what a beautiful name. You were the word of the day. Very cool, very cool. I want to try one more dark. Cool, man. Got some cool features. Let's go one more with warm. And let's uh, move it. Let's just try moving it to something. Dude, that's a smooth transition, man. That's smooth. And I can I know I can raise that up too. Wow, that's pretty cool. I like that. Can even make it brighter. Let's say I wanted to start the song now that we've established the key. Some really nice, yeah, really nice programming going on there. What'd you think, Seth? I enjoyed it, man. It was really intuitive. I, I like the simple fact that we could go from patch to patch to patch and not really have any breaks in sounds. Right. And it's super easy, man. Like, I, I think about myself, who I really don't have a whole lot of time to program and to do a lot of that, that type of stuff. This takes out all of that time of trying to learn how to do all that it's so easy it's just touching this screen so awesome well you made it sound really good so thanks for taking the time to check it out uh, guys we've got some more videos featuring seth and his playing planned for the next month so if you don't want to miss those be sure to subscribe to the channel seth we really appreciate your time man, yeah, man. thanks a lot see you in the next video